Episode 11, The Magical Masonry The enraged angels surround Prak Reed, and spit their agony on him, while he remains calm and stable. Prak Reed, my lords. Relax. I heard you out. But if you excuse me, may I ask you to please listen to me before jumping to conclusion? There are no masons here. Even if I want, I cannot summon any masons at service. Please try to understand, people here build their own dwellings. Earth Angel, agreed there are no masons here. But people still live in houses. So, if they are capable of building their houses, just call few of them here to build same for us. Now. After all we are your guests. Prak Reed, mumbles within himself great. Now the refugees claim themselves as guests. Light Angel, what are you mumbling? Speak out a bit louder. Let us too be enlightened by your wisdom. Prak Reed, no. Nothing. Well I wanted to tell you, that I cannot call anyone here from the surface. One reason being, this is a secured and restricted place only for you. Secondly, people here can only build homes for themselves, and not for others. They have limitations of mind for doing so. Guardian Angel, what do you mean? What limitations of mind? Prak Reed, my lord. People here build their homes, not through masonry, but through the mystical powers of their mind. A person or the families come together on their assigned piece of land, and through their imagination build their homes. They first come together, shut their eyes, and link their minds through telepathy to draw a visual structure of the home in their mind. The design that they had predecided before the exercise. Once they all are linked, a physical structure automatically gets built, enclosed within a structure of strong fortifying rocks, that makes the house look like a cave from outside, but a cozy house from within. The angels are enchanted listening to him, but do not show it on their faces. Guardian Angel, okay. We get it now. Why didn't you explain this in the first place instead of beating around the bush? Prak Reed, startled ah, but regains his senses. Sorry my lord. Please pardon me. Water Angel, pardoned. Now if you are done with all your drama, may I ask you to please show us how to do it? Prak Reed nods in agreement and requests them to assemble in the center, and visualize the structure similar to their temple headquarters, while they link their minds. He then instructs them to visualize, as if the structure is being erected at the place where they had gathered. At first, they fail, as they think of different structure to customize their own temples, from the way it was at present. An irregularly structured building appears to be rising, and disappearing in between. They try harder, but fail every time. They look angrily at Prak Reed, disappointed. Prak Reed, relax my lords. I see you all trying to build the structure correctly, but somewhere your minds do not appear to be synchronized, while doing so. Each one although linked, appear to have disagreement. I hope, you remember the structure of the headquarters. Earth Angel, I want to make changes to my temple, the way it looks now. Light Angel, but your change is affecting my temple. You are intruding my space. I disagree with it. Fire Angel, I want to erect two additional fire towers at the entrance, to enhance the look. Every angel expresses the wish about modifying the structure of their temples. Prakrit gets irritated at their childishness, but still remains calm. Prakrit, angels. My lords. Please. This way you are hampering the harmony, required for designing the structure. I request you to please harmoniously visualize the structure as it is at present, and get the house erected right now. If you still prefer doing it your way, I cannot guarantee how many nights you would need to spend, sleeping on this flat ground, gazing at the fireflies around. The ball is now in your court. Please decide while I take your leave to see Lord Astida. Prakrit flees from the location, as he was not able to face any stupid questions or fury from the angels. The angels, meanwhile agree on the current structure, and reattempt building the temple headquarters. They again assemble at the center, and shut their eyes. This time, they harmoniously link their minds, and visualize the entire structure. The structure appears to rise from the ground, and gets established the same way, as it appeared on the mountains, where they dwelled before coming here. 
They rejoice for finally being able to successfully build their headquarters again, although this time underground. They rest in their temples for a while, before returning to their thrones to discuss the next plan about meeting Lord Astida.